Good morning everybody, it is the 4th of <laughs> what we in April and do you know what that means? It is officially London Hat Week and this is my London Hat Week 19 vlog. I feel a bit too old to be saying vlog but I'm going to say it anyway. So follow me on my journey, I am going to jump in the shower. I'm going to start my journey with Petersham's, so I shall see you there. So I am here at Petersham's and I have had a bit of a sneak peek into their vault. I've got a really dodgy hat on today. Um, and yeah, there is, there's a lot of beautiful things. Um, so what I would suggest is if you can um, get down to Peter Shum's soon, I would. Um, yeah, like I have reserved myself some beautiful pieces, which I will put a bit of an insert here. And uh, yeah, um, this is what I've seen already. Um, these, these are some of the stuff that you can get. So yeah, if you like vintage trims, if you like vintage, I'm a dead, some of these stuff is beautiful. Um, I mean, it's all beautiful, but some of this is so old, like, like 1940s, like like it's it's vintage is not necessarily my thing, but I've put um, a few things aside for me and yeah, uh, if you are uh, if you went to the launch party of London Hat Week, you probably would have seen me wearing something which oh my god that was a very close up of my nose um, that I actually got today. Um, yeah, so enjoy. Uh, enjoy footage of all the sort of fabulous things and I'll see you later. Next up was the tea party and talk at the Mad Hatter Hotel. And the talk was by Michael Hill, who formerly was managing director of Christie's Hats. Now, this was a really good talk. The cakes were divine. The Battenberg was out of this world. Um, that was my favorite of all the cakes. But it was nice to hear the actual Mad Hatter's Hotel was it used to be a hat shop it used to be a factory in that exact spot used to they used to make hats in the middle of london which i never knew i always thought hats were made in Lund uh, luton so that was very interesting he had a lot of um tales of how they didn't dis uh, how they disrespected their furniture so yeah this was a good talk there was a lot of um visuals and on the whole i very much enjoyed myself oh so we are now here um at the happy horror talk so it's kind of been kept a secret where the location is so but by this point we will have done it so i can tell you so we're currently at bermondsey tube station and there's a lot of 
hat wearers. My hat is like all over the place today. Uh, yeah, so it's it's actually quite cold. So I have put a jumper on. Um, let's hope it doesn't get any colder. I might record a little bit as we're going, but I'm not going to record any of the actual thing. And I've got a double chin there. Um, so yeah, I will see you soon. I didn't actually realise we would be like right down up. Well, literally by the side of the Thames. Like, seriously. This is going to be scary. So that is done. It is absolutely amazing. Um, we were sat just back there. Um, oh my god. Um, it's so dark, like seriously. There we go. I have some, I have some light. So yeah, um, that was really. Good. If you ever get the chance to do uh, one of these storytelling things, then I highly, highly um, recommend. Um, it was really, really related. Um, yeah. So I'm currently still on the shore. Um, I don't know if you can see London Bridge in the background. No. There's a bridge of some description. So, yeah, uh, that is kind of day, what are we on? Uh, day two down. Um, and I am going to go and warm up. I am freezing. So, uh, Another successful day. Um, lots of people, lots of new people, and can you even see me? There we go. That's better. And yeah. Um, so tomorrow is like a day off. I am going for some drinks with some friends. Day three, and I wasn't going to do anything today, but I've decided I am. And I am here at John Boyd Hats, and oh my word! I mean, there is some amazing. Oh, think that's me. Um, amazing pieces, and if you look, let me just turn this around. There is like all this. This about everything that has been done in the past. I mean, some of these are like from the seventies. Um, and, and some of these pieces. I mean, I really like this green one here. That's kind of one of my favourites. Um, so yeah, if you can get down, uh, I very much would suggest. And, uh, and yeah.
it is the final day of Hat Week and this is the final day of the uh, World Garden exhibition. Now I was very lucky to be here on the, the night before it opened for the um, for when all the milliners had to put hats in the exhibition. It was like a private viewing party. So I was very, very excited to, to meet everybody that came to that party. Um, so yeah, I come back um, looking at things with a different, because there was, a, you know, alcohol flowing and all that. So, you know, and I didn't take a lot of pictures that day. The inspiration this year was World Garden and there are pieces all floral, everything is from, like we've got English, we've got Australian, we've got Irish, we have um, Asian, Indian influences, a lot of different influences around the world, um, all together in one room. Uh, this was put on by X Terrace, so thank you very much to X Terrace for sorting all this out. And these are some of my favorite pieces. Now I'm gonna show you pretty much everything that was at the exhibition, but you know, every now and then I'll cut in with something you know, my favourites. So enjoy! So here we are downstairs and it's a different vibe down here upstairs where it's very light and very uh, floral. Down here is a lot more dark and mysterious. We have a European, we have American, we've got Canadian, we've got African, we've got a lot of different pieces. As you've probably seen, I have had a hat change. Now this was a piece that people may have seen me wear to... Um, a few, few events at Hat Week. Now, I have doctored this very, very a lot since then. And yeah, it's uh, something very different. Um, yeah, you get a lot of looks when you're wearing this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at some of the pieces down here and then 
kind of show you some of my favorites and actually my piece is down here as well so obviously we'll be talking a little bit about that so let's crack on and see some beautiful hats downstairs we are and we are in the Irish garden I think I see a sign that says Irish garden um, and behind me is my piece so um, I'm very excited um, I did do a sneak peek on Instagram or something like ages ago I think in December but I've not shown anybody a picture of what it is so you can only see it here now it's a little bit can't see so if I just zoom in this is my piece there we go let me go a little bit further back so you get it all in oh lots of shake there and this was inspired by the EU so I'm gonna put a little bit of better footage in now Unfortunately, is the end of another very successful hat week. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed my hat week. Um, big shout out to everybody who has helped make this week amazing. So we have Becky and Georgina of London Hat Week. Um, we have Monique of X Terrace who has put this wonderful exhibition together. Um, yeah, it's uh, 
met a lot of other people so shout out say hi in the comments down below if you're watching this video and if you're seeing me during this week as London how weeks say wear more hats um I for sure have worn a lot this week I have been wearing this which you know I've not, not got the veil on at the moment um but it, yeah it has been uh I've, I wear a few hats but this has been I've worn a lot of hats that have been out of my um usual world wear in fact if I'll put, put a picture here this is me at the what event was it this was the launch party uh, London Hat Week launch party and it was a neon it was neon not like the, it was like as neon as this um so yeah thank you very much for watching I am working on new content so there should be a tutorial out soon if you like these sort of videos let me know in the comments below let me know who you'd like me to go visit who do you want who do you want to see i me and michelle have been talking about uh petersham so i'm definitely seeing her soon so be looking out for that video and i shall see you in the next video bye